Konti lang. Konti lang. Can you try to invite them in Tagalog? In, in Filipino language? <laughs> let's see, let's see. Yeah, it will be fun. Yeah, it will be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mabuhay! <laughs> um, kamusta kayo? I'm Nina Robinson, Miss Earth Australia. Um, I'd like to ask for all your support during my journey. Um, I represent Australia, but I am half Filipino, so I hope that I can also um, connect with you guys on that level. So thank you. Where's Tagalog? Where's the Tagalog? Do the Tagalog version! And it's so hard! Yeah, very good! Okay! Make an effort! Hi, my name is Nina Robertson. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Australia and I'm the Miss Earth Australia. So I'm from Melbourne, which is the most livable city in the world, voted um, for seven consecutive years. Um, there I am a university student. I am studying a Bachelor of Science. So one day I'm hoping to become a health provider. Um, so it might take me a couple of years, but in the meantime, I'm doing the Miss Earth competition which I think for me, it's quite unusual to the other pageants because it's directed at the environment. So the core focus of it is really reaching out to the public, raising awareness about all the issues we have in our environment and promoting ways that we can fix these issues. So that's one of my biggest um, goals for this pageant. So right now, um, I'm currently training with KF, um, Flores. So I just started this week. Um, I'll be carrying on with that till Sunday to work in house. And then just the usual, keeping your body in shape, um, having a balanced diet, um, reading the newspapers as well, being updated with the current global issues. Um, I started my first one, it was Mutian in Australia. So I was 18 years old, I won the title. Then I came here to the Philippines and competed in the Mutiana Filipinas. Uh, it was there that I won the Mutiana Overseas Community. So that was in 2015. Um, and then since then, I haven't done any other pageants until now. So it's been a year or so since I've done a pageant. I'm very passionate about doing something good. So for me, like I'm studying a Bachelor of Science, I want to improve people's lives. And I think the environment is also another way of helping people, not only just their health, but you know, everyone else on a global scale is going to be affected by climate change and all the issues. So for me, it's really, it's not about so much the crown or the sash, it's more about the core behind it, what we're doing, what we're promoting and addressing. For Miss Earth, advocacy uh, are the five R's, which is reuse, recycle, uh, respect and rethink. Uh, one of my advocacies back in Australia, which I think is very relevant globally, is food wastage now. So in Melbourne, where I'm from, just a small city, it's actually, we can feed an extra 2 million people with all the food that we waste. So I've come up with a little program um, for it. It's uh, plan and prep, keeping track of our leftovers. Um, composting and um, making sure that we make uh, proper use of our waste through food. Uh, I've been going to different schools around Australia promoting it um, and that's really my advocacy for history. So these last two years you've been here mostly in the Philippines or in uh, Australia? Mostly in Australia. So I'm studying back in Australia. I only come here maybe once a year every now and then. It's yeah, I love traveling here and I love the people, so I come back often. Yeah. So why did you select uh, joining Miss Earth Australia instead of Miss Earth Philippines? For me, because, uh, I mean, it's difficult because as much as I'd like to represent the Philippines, I don't have a Filipino passport. I'm based in Australia, so I'm currently still studying. So I spend majority of my time in Australia, um, but for me it's whether which country I represent, it doesn't matter because like the, what I really want to address is reaching out to the public. So for me it's like even if I did represent Philippines, I'd still be doing the same thing. I'd still put 100% into it. As aerobics, um, I was very sporty growing up. That's why I never thought I would join a beauty pageant at all. I was quite tomboyish as well. Um, I was really surprised by what it was like to 
uh, joined a beauty pageant actually. Um, but yes, I did play aerobics. I was a national um, winner in Australia for that one, yeah. Beauty player. That was at, at school, there was um, sports every year, every term, sorry. So I'd get involved in like soccer, athletics, tennis, swimming, sort of all around, all the sports, yeah. I've heard that this year the competition is very tough and I think it's because like the climate change is becoming more relevant so I feel like this pageant is becoming more relevant worldwide so um, I know it's going to be a very tough competition. Um, I've seen some of the other delegates, they're also very beautiful um, but it's not always about sort of the outside appearances, it's also about being true to yourself and really valuing what Miss Earth values. So I think, you know, throughout the pageant they'll be able to separate which ones are actually passionate about what Miss Earth is about. I was actually attending my cousins, uh, who did a beauty pageant in Australia. I was attending and then I was greeted by one of the directors of Wigan of Australia there. She's the one that contacted me first. Um, she really pushed me to join. I was quite hesitant because in Australia beauty pageants it's not it's not very big. I'd have to say it's, it's not very common for girls to join. I think nowadays it's becoming more and more relevant. Um, but for me I was quite hesitant. But I also really wanted to explore my Filipino heritage. So because it was it was based in the Philippines, the international the scale up from the Australian one. Um, I was yeah curious. I wanted to see what it was like. You know, I'm quite an open-minded person, so for me, I was like, I'll go for the experience, and I really did love it. I loved meeting the people and traveling around the Philippines, um, and it, you gain so much confidence and you learn so much from yourself. So that's why I sort of reconsidered doing another pageant like this one. Everyone, yes, yeah. My family, they're quite, they're very sporty as well. Very hiyak, is that the right word? Shy, yeah. That was um, my older sister, she's old now, she's around 28, so I think she's, the cut of age is 26 or something for most patterns, so yeah, I'm the baby, the bunso. So, yeah. Food wastage, I, would, I was really surprised to be honest, and I'm such a foodie myself, I love eating. Um, Melbourne, we have really good food, um, and I just, when I read this article in the newspaper, I just couldn't believe that we were generating this much waste and then to know how much more harmful food wastage is compared to other ways. So it actually produces methane, which is like 30 times more potent than carbon dioxide. So for me, I thought it's, it's such a relevant issue to everyone. We all eat on a daily basis and it's something that we can tackle with little minor steps every day that can make a bigger contribution. Just sharing your leftovers, making sure you don't throw them straight in the bin. And the last one is composting because any organic matter can actually be composted. And when it's composted like that, um, it doesn't produce the harmful methane gas, which is harmful to the environment. So I've been going to schools and then um, also being active in the composting initiatives there. If you win the title, what will be your first action? Um, for me, I'm actually really excited about the speech at the UN. That's one of um, the things that you win as the Miss Earth International. So for me, I'd be very honored to do that speech there. I'd really love to talk about um, my food advocacy as well as the five R's. And I think out of the five R's, the main important one for me is respect. I think that if the respect really comes from the heart and when we have respect for the earth, all those actions will come and they will follow very easily. So for me, I'd really love to focus on respecting our mother earth if I to get the chance to win. Actually, my hero is Queen Aurora. So like the Aurora light in the northern yet, um, city. So uh, for me, it's like the light. So find the leader. So that's my aim of the superhero for me. It's really about creating the pathway for people and, and ensuring that they have someone there to guide them. So that's my superhero.
What is your message for the youth? For the youth? Um, my biggest one is respect. Um, I think it's very important to, especially with our earth, is to respect it because there's no point looking after our homes if we don't have a planet or an earth to live on. So I think, you know, we have so many blessings from Mother Earth and so many things that we, so much destruction here on this earth, like wars and, and crime and everything like that, but we shouldn't make earth one of those destructions. So I think if we have that respect, everything, all the love and all the actions will come easy. Okay. What, what do you think is the biggest environmental problem in the world now? Uh, <laughs> biggest one is actually climate change so global warming because uh, there's a lot of contributing factors that that bring um, that cause global warming so greenhouse gases there's cars electricity even the food waste my advocacy there's a lot of ways that can contribute and a lot of ways that we can help solve this problem so you know it's a, gro a global issue so we need um, global solutions yeah, so if you win so what will be your first steps in, in terms of addressing this issue? Addressing this issue? Um, first of all, um, I would like to keep promoting the five R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, rethink and respect. Um, I'd love the opportunity to keep traveling all around the world and to keep promoting this issue because I think a lot of us are aware of it but we're not sure how to combat it. So I hope that throughout my Miss Earth journey, I'll be able to guide people in the right direction and show that it's actually really easy to contribute and to make a difference. So Nina, you travel a lot. So how do you compensate for your carbon footprint? Ako naman. So um, at home, I do a lot of things. So I have a compost at home. Yeah. So all my food waste goes in the composting. I'm, I get very organized with the food as well. As well as that um, electricity. So I always turn off power points at home when they're not in use. Um, reusable coffee cups as well because I love my coffee. Um, drink bottles and everything. Thing. Um, there are a lot of little things that you can do to help. Mm -hmm. oh. I think my edge is that um, I think obviously being half Filipino, half Australian, you know, you come from both different sides, and you've um, I've got support from both countries as well. Um, so for me, it's really comforting to know that I've got a lot of people um, supporting me. But also um, in terms of personality, like I think that I'm a very down-to-earth person. It's very important to have compassion um, so that people feel like you you know them and they can trust you so I think that's one of I, I think one of my biggest edge yeah Buhay! Ako po si Nina Robertson Miss Earth Australia supportahan sa akin laban during the Miss Earth International competition thank you salamat po hello mga kababayan uh, iniimbita po, po, po kayo na supportahan niyo po ang anak ko si Nina Robertson for Miss Earth International 2017 Manood po kayo sa the 4th of November 2017. Okay, see you.